So we're going to do a whole roast pheasant with some shallots and bacon, garlic, thyme, uh, some pork. We're going to make a delicious sauce with it. Uh, and it's all going to be done in one pan in under an hour. It's really, really simple. Um, so get a pan nice and hot um, and we'll get the bird. This is, this is like oven ready. You can buy it from the super, certain supermarkets oven ready. Uh, go to a local game dealer or a farm shop. They tend to have stuff in. A little lug of oil over the top. And then season well because this has got quite a punchy flavour. Oil in the pan as well. Good glug. And then we're going to start and just pop it on its side. We just want to get it nice and golden before it goes in the oven. So that pheasant's nice and browned. And let's, on recommendation of the leader, pop a little bit of lemon and some thyme into there. A bit more flavour, a little bit more moisture. Uh, right, so then we're going to just cut the bacon into lardons. Some garlic also goes in, and some shallots. Keep the shallots nice and chunky because it'll be nice for the sauce once the bird's cooked. And a little bit of thyme. So that's basically the base of the sauce there. We've just got to cook that out, get all those lovely flavours out. Don't forget to season. A uh, bit of sherry vinegar, just for a bit of acidity. To deglaze the bottom of that pan, get a lovely flavour off. Right, so we want to take the pork to there, just so it's nice and bubbled and reduced by about a half. Then the bird goes straight back into the pan, and then the whole pan goes into the oven at 180 for 30 minutes. Then we'll check it. If it needs more, we'll pop it back in. We'll finish the sauce. Nice and easy. Bosh, John's back here soon. Right, so this has been in here for about 40, 30, 40 minutes. And what you need to do to make sure that it's cooked, if you feel it and you want a, a fair amount of resistance, and then sort of just cut the skin where the leg meets the body and you want the juices to run clear. I'm going to remove it from the pan and rest it, but just flip it upside down. we get getting money's worth, lads. Um, and then just rest it on the board and we can get to making our sauce. So we've got all those pan juices and that pot. So we'll get that back on the heat. Add a splash more pot. So reduce that right down so it's at that stage. And then add your chicken stock. So you want to add twice the amount of chicken stock to the liquid that's in there. And we'll bring that to the boil, turn it into a delicious sauce. That's the consistency that you want. If you want more, just add a little bit more chicken stock in there. Um, <laughs> da -da, da -da, da -da. Um, so that's perfect. I've just rolled off some leeks and some butter and some thyme, which we're going to serve with this. Um, and it's just easy as it comes. Serve some potatoes with it if you want, but I don't think there's any need. Recipes on the website. Give it a go. It's super easy, absolutely delicious. Thanks for watching.